whenever I go to the seashore and see the beautiful ocean and all the water all around me, I think about how great God is in creating all of this. Lord, how can I tell you how great you are as I go to the shore and the sea? As I see your majesty, feel your great power in the waves that wash over me. Your blessings are more than the grains of sand found on the shore of the sea. You supply all my needs and help me each day in the journey you have planned for me. I see your great mercy in the birds on the shore and see how you give them your care. How much more you provide for our needs, O oh Lord, when we come to you in prayer. And in thinking about how great the Lord is, listen to these words. Lord, you are so great and I am so small. As I look at the power of the sea, for you created all the waves and the sky as far as my eye can see. The rush of the tide, the surge of the waves, infinitely where sky meets sea. The sound of the surf, the smell of the salt, spans more than eternity. Yes, you are so great, and I am so small, like a grain of sand on the shore. Yet you care for me and provide for my needs, as each day I trust you more. One summer, we were uh, touring Acadia National Park, and God gave me these words. I feel God's touch upon me on this mountain by the sea. I view His majesty before me where the mountain meets the sea. The clouds like balls of cotton dance lightly on the breeze, and the ponds are brilliant gems where the mountain meets the sea. The boulders stand like giants and such vastness of the trees. The seagulls soar like eagles where the mountain meets the sea. Where but in Acadia has God blessed abundantly where the sunbeams meet the mountain and the mountain meets the sea. From Cape Bromberton, Nova Scotia, we traveled a few more miles to the most unforgettable village by the sea that we have ever seen, Halls Harbor. This village by the sea is truly a village lost in time, a village where fishing is a way of life and a village that remains unchanged through all the years. It is here that we ate lobster from Halls Harbor lobster pound drawn fresh from the deep cold Bay of Fundy. What an experience eating delicious lobster on a salt worn wooden wharf amid lobster traps, fishing boats and whirling seagulls. Savoring the fragrance of steaming lobster mingled with spruce and sea rock, fog swirling all around us in a tiny village where time stands still. Truly an unforgettable memory etched in our minds forever. These words describe best the village by the sea. It was an enchanted afternoon in the village by the sea, an enchanted afternoon when time stood still 
for you and me. This village by the sea, Hall's Harbor was the name, was rustic, quaint, and old, of fine seafaring fame. Descending hill and turn to reach this harbor by the bay is like transcending time and space of a bygone era day. For the buildings old and worn sit on a cliff shelf high and the old general store is on the bluff nearby. The boats are moored at low tide with the salt worn wharf above and somewhere in the distance is the echo of a dove. This peaceful, tranquil place is a village lost in time, a village by the sea, restoring heart and mind. I stand there mesmerized at this village by the sea, a place so picturesque it doesn't seem to really be. One evening, when we were in Annapolis Royal doing the laundry in the old historical part of town, I walked across the street to the shore of the bay and saw this beautiful scene described here. Stillness comes this evening with the fog upon the bay, the sun a jeweled crown as the light fades from the day. Slowly now the rays form a gentle path of light upon the water still and calm as day turns into night. The boats are calmly moored in the harbor at low tide while the churches and the village cast a silhouette on the side. The lighthouse stands nearby, blinking bravely now at dusk to warn the ships and sailors whose light they learned to trust. The seagulls seem at rest now as they sit upon the pier, awaiting dawn's arrival and the fish that are quite near. How I thank you, Lord, for this as day comes to an end, for the peace and joy and blessings that to my life you send. <laughs> 